As my mother started to play with her brand new mic, she got into the, she got close to the mic. We talked about mic technique and then she's talking to me and she's talking to my father and my sister. We're all in the room and we're all practicing and we're, we're this is all new. I mean, my mom never recorded a, a single episode before this, right? So she gets to the mic and she here she is having this conversation with me and she sounds like my mom. She sounds like the person I'm used to, um, the person that I'm comfortable with. She has a, a great voice. She has a great uh, demeanor. She has great voice inflections. It draws me in. It pulls me in. And I feel like she's talking directly to me when we have conversations where she literally is talking directly to me. And then she pulls up a mic. She has a conversation with us. It turns to the mic. And then she talks, mom, I'm sorry if I'm offending you. And then she talks like this. She talks really serious and she explains the thing and she dictates the thing and makes sure that it makes a lot of sense. And she's having this conversation and she's practicing her skills with the podcast. And I'm like, mother, why are you, why are you being so professional when you get on your mic? Now I'm the epitome of non-professional. Like I've got a lot of employees and they live in the Philippines and there's something with the Filipino culture that is very, very formal. So my employees are very formal. Uh, when I went and visited them in the Philippines, they would say stuff like Mr. Adam or Sir Adam, or uh, they would usually use more formal ways of speaking, right? And I'm informal, you know, professional, unprofessional might be a bad way to say it, but formal, informal, informality is is the name of my game. When I'm having a conversation with you, like just imagine right now, how is this conversation going? This monologue, if you will, but between you and me, does it feel like I've got it scripted? Does it feel like I'm reading something? Does it feel like I'm trying to be perfect? Does it feel like I like whatever? Or does it just feel like I'm having a conversation with you that you and I are in the same room? That's the goal. So my mom, it, we practiced it maybe three or four times. If I remember correctly, there was like three times where she got to the mic and her personality changed. So she's having really great conversation. She's really like drawing me in. And she's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about that. And then, but then she gets back to the mic and it's like, all right, so we are going to talk about blah, 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 blah. And it's like, this isn't you, mom. You know, this isn't you, John. Actually, I was just on with a podcast client named Brad. Brad Chandler, I cannot wait for your podcast to launch. It is going to be so freaking epic. Brad and I. Just like my mom, we get on this uh, recording and we're just doing the trailer. Uh, a lot of times when I have a brand new client, we will record the trailer together. Now, it will be edited so that my voice is nowhere in the trailer, but I'm coaching. I'm, I like to do that episode zero with my client because same thing with my mom. Same thing that happened with my how my mom was doing her thing. It's It's like she's natural. She's herself when she's with those people. But then she was having a hard time when she went to the mic, having uh, a natural conversation like I try to do. I do my very best. Like right now, I really am just talking to you. And I know you. I know what you look like. I know what you think like. I know what you're struggling. And everything that I do is is really for you. I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. 